first of all thank you so much everyone for being so patient and inviting uh, such a person to such a huge uh, event over here i am rahul arya i am a computer engineer and uh, i be people be believe me as a stand artist but i consider myself as a storyteller and this is what i really believe in and coming up uh, from an engineering background i came here as unprepared as i was for my engineering exams so don't expect much from it so i'll quickly going to take you through about my from my journey and which is talking about blending vision so for blending vision uh, can have a different meaning to everybody else so for me the blending vision has a special significance because i uh, try to do this in my real life also because art whenever you see an art or a painting uh, the first thing comes to your mind is a painting a sculpture a beautiful art piece but i try to blend the art piece with the stories and narrating it in a film manner so i'll just quickly take you through all the journeys which i have have been through and uh, i hope you guys like it and you might have seen some of my work previously so i'll just going to quickly show you how do i do the process so here it is moving up to the next slide where i'm talking going to talk about uh, the 200 second standard i believe some of you guys might have seen it online and uh, a lot of people might have seen on tv or any other shows as well so what 200 second uh, standard means is i have to narrate a huge story in a shorter duration because i i believe uh, we are in such a generation where we we try everything to be quick we want a pizza delivery to be fast we don't have a time to for a longer duration so i've tried to compress all the longest stories in a very shorter duration coming back to the 200 second idea was uh, it began with a child asking me a question about how can you show up a longer story like indian cinema in a short film so that gave me an instinct and i tried to make up the whole narration of bollywood cinema into stand art and here it goes so <laughs> खामोश नहीं होने दूंगा खामोश बसंती कुत्तों के सामने मत मुगेम्बो खुश हुआ मैं तेजा हूँ क्योंकि मेरा नाम भी तेजा है मार इधर <laughs> कोई बात नहीं सैन्य रीता कोई बात नहीं बड़े बड़े देशों में ऐसी छोटी छोटी बातें होती रहती देवी प्रसाद घर पर है भाई मुन्ना भाई के वहाँ पे मोटिवेशन बिहाइंड telling this story in a in a much more interesting manner if you can say that similarly there's a story about salman khan is the bhai of bollywood i belong to mumbai and i know that how much craze there is for salman bhai so i've tried to uh, narrate his journey and his story in the stand up format and here it goes do do se ek pyale mein chai piyenge isse dosti badhti hai kya अर्जुन आएंगे I love you. हमने किया है तो फिर मैं अपने आप की भी नहीं सुनता प्यार से लगता है तो हम मुन्नी को खुद उसके घर छोड़कर ही आए थैंक यू सो मच गैस So that has got over 2 million views in just a couple of days, and I was really much blessed that uh, even Mr. Salman Khan and a lot of people have tweeted about it, and a lot of people in the media houses have published it from India Times to a lot of other media houses because there's a new way to tell the story. And this one I did with a collaboration with 9XM Channel, if you are aware of it. So similarly, we try to collab with a lot of producers and a lot of TV channels and to narrate it uh, in a different manner. I began my journey in a totally different uh, platform. I, since I mentioned I'm a computer engineer, and I now I got into filmmaking. So it was a different and challenging process for me to get adapted to the to the new technology. But I believe if you follow up your path which you believe in, then everybody will gonna like it. I I never have uh, learned art in a professional college or any degree into any art college or some as so. But I believe that I can narrate a story. So that is uh, the only thing I am very much aware of myself. 
So similarly, I've tried to give up a tribute to Mr. Shah Rukh Khan. So Shah Rukh Khan is somebody who, at least all Delhiites people are very much fond of because he's there as a guy who is a kid, 18 to 19 year old, and then he went up achieving his dreams to Mumbai and achieving so much that now he is known as the King Khan of Bollywood. He has so much of it. He has lost up, uh, but there are certain things which nobody knows about the struggle he has went through also. So he has lost up his mother, he's lost up his father. During the toughest phase, his wife supported him, how the journey has gone through. So I thought, why not uh, tell this story to all the people who just know only him by the films. And I tell the whole story in a 200 second format and here it goes. 12th Kebab, Hantraj College, Delhi University. Kiran. Jio, khush raho, muskura, kya bada? Kal ho na. Connected now. A star fan ke piche baage. Ami jaan kehti thi. So here it goes. And can we just keep keep these lights closed? Yeah. So. Mr. Shah Rukh Khan is a real inspiration for me and we have done a show, Comedy Night, and we have done a lot of films uh, post to that and he's, uh, he has really uh, encouraged me a lot in this. So I w always want to thank him uh, for, for be being a person. Uh, I myself come from, comes from Delhi, so I know that the struggle uh, of somebody coming from Delhi going to a new city and how he has to struggle for himself to find a place and exist in a certain scenario. Similarly, there's the, we all are aware of, and how many of our Rajnikanth fans over here? Oh, I can see, uh, okay. So uh, similarly, I, I've got a request from a friend of mine, Kartika, who, is, who belongs to Chennai, and she has made a request. You are no longer a sand artist unless you make anything for Rajnikanth. So, so that was a challenge I got. Ki, uh, because in, in South, what I've heard is uh, you, you don't know Salma, you don't know Shah Rukh, but everybody prays Rajnikanth. So I had to struggle a lot because I don't, I'm very bad in Tamil, Telugu, and all these languages. And pardon me for that. but. Uh, I try to uh, understand the language and interpret the famous dialogues of Rajnikanth. I studied a lot because it's a lengthy process. Uh, it, because uh, in, Raj, uh, in a subject like Rajnikanth, people have an emotional connect to that person. It's not just a person's story, it's Rajnikanth. He is considered as a god. So we have to be very particular about the dialogues or the images which we particularly choose. So I had to struggle with the language and finally I uh, made up this video. This is actually totally a 200 second video. I'm just showing you a glimpse of it. And here it goes. உங்களுக்கு <laughs> <laughs> மரல் வச்சுக்கிட்டு மியூசியம் முறுக்கிக்கிட்டு லுங்கி கட்டிக்கிட்டு நம்ப யாரு அப்படின்னு சொன்ன உடனே குறிஞ்சி சொல்லுங்க எஜுமா கபாலி I believe you guys must have seen any of Rajnikanth movies. Can we just keep, keep the slides closed? It makes me look like I'm so much popular. Okay. So next, moving on to uh, how many of Hollywood fans out here? Wow, all the youngsters. Okay, how many of our Nolan or Steven Spielberg fans? Okay, I'm a, I'm a huge Nolan fan and I love all of his films. So the challenge for me, actually I was not trying to attempt this because I believe it will be a very difficult job for me to do. But I've always believed that uh, what is difficult, you should try that only. So I've tried to narrate the whole story of a film in a particular single image. For example, if I have to tell the story of Titanic in a matter of eight seconds or seven seconds, so how, I, how can I do that in Santa? So I have to show up a symbolic image which represents the movie. For example, the sinking of the ship Titanic. Or if I have to show Avatar, so I have to show that the poster of Avatar. So I have to be very specific so that people can identify the movie even without looking at the name and if they are uh, very much of all Hollywood fans. So from my starting from my college days to all my schooling days and everywhere else I have faced challenges because 
considering from an uh, over obsessed uh, engineering society we are very much obsessed with uh, making our son engineers or doctors and everybody so I, I come from the same family and I, I can know your pain brother so I, I, I had to literally struggle out to make sure that this is my dream this is my passion this is what I want to do but certainly to make sure that everybody satisfies because at the end the parents fear is always with the struggle of our child to be able to exist in the society financially and socially so financially i know i, I would be able to make make it up money because art is not that uh, cheap nowadays it's a uh, people know the value of it yes socially it is a stigma that people still don't respect artists as much as they respect a scientist or an engineer because they believe art is a totally as a hobby part but engineering is much more of an intelligent part. So what I've done is I've done my engineering, I've completed my IIT masters as well. I've done everything with that just to satisfy my social uh, status. Then I pursued my simultaneously my art as my, which, which people call it as a hobby, and I turned it into a profession. I believe uh, that if you skip a few parties, that's okay. Just work on your goals and you'll achieve what you are really worth of. So similarly, I've here I've given a tribute to Hollywood with the Santa. Here it goes. It shrunk down to the size of this window. They keep moving forward. I find your lack of faith disturbing. 50 million Indians. To Jurassic Park. Ship of Dream. Don't you do that. I love you. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. This is Sparta! Is there someone's favorite film in the list? I'm damn sure there will be in 200 seconds. Just go check it out online. So uh, coming back to my last frame, uh, I believe I also have a responsibility as a storyteller because if you see my website has, a, I have a, I run a studio called Flying Rock Studio Private Limited, and uh, there we have a special page where we dedicate everything to all the social causes. Uh, may it be a Nepal earthquake or a female fetishite or incredible India or Peshawar attack or racism. So we try to bring out those topics as well. I know they are not as popular as Bollywood, but I try to bring out the all the real issues which are there in the society as well in a very little subtle manner, not too dramatic, not too emotional. So what I try to give up a tribute to a famous uh, poem by Carl Sagan. So I try to narrate that in a standard format which is dedicated to the earth. And uh, this is a tribute uh, to earth. I'll just give you a small brief. So Voyager second was a uh, satellite which has been thrown out uh, in the space which has taken up the last picture which is known as the furthest picture of earth ever taken so in this picture it's a huge picture where we we can see all uh, it's somewhere out, out of our solar system where we can see a small dot of our earth and that summarizes everything that how tiny how small how a small grain of a sand we are in this whole universe where all the other planets are much bigger than us but they are also hardly visible so here is a tribute which is dedicated to that small tiny dot the aggregate of our joy and suffering. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every hunter and forager. Every young couple in love. Every mother and father. Hopeful child. Inventor and explorer. Every teacher of morals. Every corrupt politician. Every superstar. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. You are not machines. You are men. Every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on the mote of dust suspended in a sunbeam. The earth is a very small stage. To me, it underscores our responsibility to deal more kindly with one another and to preserve and cherish the pale blue dot, the only one we've ever known.
So moving on, I just want to thank uh, MIT University who have considered me enough to, capital enough to be a part of it and consider me for the same. So I want to thank and clap for all the audience you have been patient enough to bear with us. And please uh, give it a huge round of applause for all the students who have made this huge, awesome setup. <laughs> Moving on, I've been requested to give up a small demo of uh, a tribute to uh, you as a, as a performer. So what I thought, why not uh, give it a tribute in a manner which I believe, which I'm personally very much connected to. So th here's a tribute to one person who we love but ignore to say that we love her. So that one person is our mom. So if in case during the, all the performance, if in case you get connected for a once moment, if you get remember of your mom, then just give it a round of applause. I'll see that my message has reached to you. Here it goes. It has been said, from sand we were formed, and to sand we will return. And to take you today on a beautiful sand journey, we have Rahul Arya. Har dhar mein maa ka darja sab se upar hota hai. A mother may be your critic, but will always be your biggest supporter. बतलाता नहीं पर अंधेरे से डरता हूं मैं मां यूं तो मैं दिखलाता नहीं तेरी परवाह करता हूं मैं मां तुझे सब है पता है ना मां तुझे सब है पता मेरी माँ भीड़ में यूँ न छोड़ो मुझे घर लौट के भी आना पाऊँ माँ भेजना इतना दूर मुझको तू याद भी तुझको आना पाऊँ माँ क्या इतना बुरा हूँ मैं माँ क्या इतना बुरा
खुदा पे भी असर तो दुआ का है घर मेरी माँ मेरी माँ प्यारी माँ मम्मा Love your mother. You will never get another. guys i believe uh, you guys had a good time and thank you so much for being so patient and once again i want to thank amity university for being so kind enough thank you so much guys please enjoy the night